Dave. The big story tonight, targeting the UAW. The union president's home at the center of a series of raids and a corruption investigation. Chopper 7 over the Canton Township home of UAW President Gary Jones. Agents from the FBI, the IRS, and the Department of Labor moving in. 7 Action News has learned this is just one of several raids throughout the country. Agents also serving search warrants in northern Michigan and at a home in Corona, California, among others. This all stems from a long investigation into kickbacks and bribes. 7 Investigator Ross Jones is digging into that part of the story. But we begin tonight with 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel uncovering new information from Canton. Today, FBI special agents searching inside the Canton, Michigan home of UAW President this. Gary Jones. This year I saw about uh, 12 unmarked cars get out, a bunch of people wearing FBI jackets and IRS jackets. Jones, just a month ago, at the negotiating table, shaking hands with the Big Three's leaders. They were going through a bunch of cash in the garage. Uh, they were paying attention to some golf clubs. The search warrant executed at his home today, part of an investigation by the FBI, the IRS Criminal Investigative Division, and the Department of Labor's Office of Inspector General, looking into potential bribery and corruption. This just one of multiple locations across the country. And Former and UAW President Dennis Williams, Williams California yeah, home also searched. Back. Another home in Wisconsin and UAW facilities in Missouri and Northern Michigan. In a statement, the UAW responded to the developments, saying in part, the UAW and President Gary Jones have always fully cooperated with the government investigators in this matter, and there was absolutely no need for search warrants to be used by the government today. The UAW has voluntarily responded to every request the government has made throughout the course of its investigation. The FBI presence at a critical moment for the UAW as they're about to set a strike target with either Ford, GM, or Fiat Chrysler. The escalated investigation likely to sow further seeds of distrust among rank-and-file members who support UAW negotiators' need. And that was Brian Abel in Canton. Brian, thank you. Our big story coverage continues now with 7 investigator Ross Jones. And Ross, this isn't the first time a UAW official has been in the Fed's crosshairs, right? That's right, Heather. Just a few weeks ago, a one-time UAW vice president was sentenced for accepting lavish gifts he never should have. What can you say to the rank and file who have lost confidence in you? Norwood Jewell had nothing to say outside federal court earlier this year after pleading guilty for his role in the UAW corruption probe. Jewell was the international vice president at the UAW, negotiating with Fiat Chrysler. But according to the feds, Jewell chose to serve his own interests and to live the life of a big shot and fat cat, accepting thousands of dollars in gifts from Fiat Chrysler. Mr. Jewell decided that he was going to benefit and enrich himself instead of doing what he is supposed to do. Prosecutors said he accepted cigars, steaks, first-class airfare, rounds of golf, villas, lavish entertainment, and personalized bottles of wine using union dues and Fiat Chrysler money. At his sentencing, Jewell said he took responsibility for his actions, saying, As a union rep, I can't take anything of value from a company we bargain with. I own up to that. That's why I'm standing here. His attorney blamed a cesspool of corruption that existed around his client. And last April, after Norwood's guilty plea, U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider said his probe into UAW corruption was far from over. We're going to continue our investigation until we can ferret out all of the aspects of where the union leadership actually serves the men and women of the union. And the U.S. attorney made good on his promise today. For his role in the corruption scandal, Norwood was sentenced to 15 months in prison. In the newsroom, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, Ross, thank you. And for more on the raids happening today and how they're connected to former UAW President Norwood Jewell, head to our website, WXYZ.com.